Um, we have to have a real race relations um, conversation, Montgomery. Because uh, y'all need to put a little respect on it. Especially uh, black people. I don't know, have y'all lost y'all ever loving mind? I was just in this uh, store getting copies made. Young black girl. Um, she was my working in a copy center. And um, I pulled up the, the items that I wanted copied on my jump drive. And as I did it, I was telling her how many of each and an older white man came in and said he didn't know how to work the copy machine. So she just uh, 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 forgot I was there. And um, I said, well, let me go. You know, I told her what I had wanted printed. Oh, and let me go and, because all y'all do, the lady, is printed, okay? Black and white, nothing fancy. So I said, well, let me go get some out of my truck, because it looked like she has forgotten me. And when I got back, she's still over there helping him make copies. I'm just looking, and I guess I had that look on my face. And she came back uh, to ring him up in front of me. I let her ring him up. I allowed her to ring him up because I needed to have a, a queen to princess. She's a little princess. She hasn't uh, grown into her queendom yet. So I tell the little princess, I said, um, you know, I was here first and y'all have to get out of that white people syndrome of running to them and uh, catering to them and ignoring your people. And her eyes got almost big as mine. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. I said, do you understand me, though? You know, I, I had no problem with him being a senior citizen and illiterate or incompetent in operating a copy machine. My issue was, dear, that I had been standing here and you ignored me. You went to him as if somebody had lit a firecracker in your ass. I mean, she was moving. And I just, I, I, it's 2016, people, and it's an awakening going on. And some people are just as blind. But Helen Keller could see what she did was wrong. It was disrespectful. And you know I, I, how much I um, care for disrespectful individuals. You have to put some respect on it with me. Because if I'm respectful to you, I uh, want you to be re reciprocated. Uh, the respectfulness. And because she was ignorant, I could have gotten ugly with her, but I wanted to teach her something. Because really, I don't think she had a clue on what she did was wrong. And when I talked to her for a few seconds, because I don't have but about that much of tolerance for... Uh, people who voluntarily voluntarily are stupid uh, ignorant to the fact of what is respect and who we are and the battle that we face every day doesn't also doesn't necessarily come from white people it comes from us as well because we don't know how to love each other and so, don't come back to me with the sister girl like you want to help me after the fact. You know, I'm Karen, 365. I, I, I don't flip it on and flip it off. And I know while in Rome, you do as the Romans do. But damn it, in Karen's world, we don't have no Romans. You be yourself. Be you. Respect me. Respect your people. 
we have to teach this. It's sad. We have to teach this to grown people. Really, really sad in 2016. But we have to teach self-love. Self-love. And so I hope the princess grows up to the, be the queen that I know she is on the inside and appreciate her people and who she is as a black woman. Beautiful name. Beautiful young woman. She just ain't got bird sense. And so the awakening has occurred and we just have to help our people. Don't get mad at them because, you know, at first I could have gone there. I, I could have gone all the way there with them because it's hot outside. But when I talk to her and I know, you know, uh -uh, she don't have bird sense. So my job and others who watch this job, who are awake. We have to teach our people. So, you know, it's getting me to putting on my thinking skills. I'm ready to do a real race relations um, for not any um, band-aids on a boo-boo but real race relations that deal with the issues. The state of the black community, I didn't do in February, but I'm, I think I need to do one right now. And so in a few weeks, be watching out for that. And it's gonna be very uh, interesting. It's gonna be pain-filled. It's gonna be God-filled. It's gonna be 100% real. Fake people need not to want to speak on this panel. I'm going to pull together a, a wonderful panel and we're going to awaken the people and the deep dark hurt and the angst that people have both black and white will be addressed there and I want you know I want them to come with the issues with either race because this is something that needs to occur it has to happen um, but we're not going to make it and it's, it's not for show uh, of course, Todd Strange will not be able to come. I'm going to see if Ernest J. Finley will come. But, you know, I'm just going to see. Uh, will he come for the community? This is not by Karen. Because I think some real, real necessary talk and not filibuster need to take place. Have a happy Sunday.